those highly valuable marines. and they call it a tilt rotor concept. Well, and it's tilting right now. And how do they do that? <laughs> you know, you tell well, me. Come on, no, this is, this is exciting. I mean, to see this transition from forward flight now into the hover, and it's just a, it's just a, a little thumb switch. A little thumb wheel on the left hand of the pilot's control a power lever. Very long. It's like one, two, three, four, and it's done. Yeah, and they can stop it anywhere in between. up close and personal like this just gives you an idea of the capability of this aircraft out in the field it's become something uh, that the marines just absolutely love yes indeed because it can get troops into or out of the battlefield air can allow it to take off and land in just a couple of 300 feet they can oh, yeah. carry mat up to 24 fully equipped combat troops in it or as much as 15,000 pounds slung underneath on a, on a load uh, from the... Uh, you know, it's been around a while now, and like any new aircraft, these things, they went through some growing pains, but, but when you think of the, the advances in technology... help me think of uh, Chris Curtis. Remember him? He was the guest of honor yeah. at the Little Raiders reunion, the final one that the guys had. Now, a hover takeoff. Chris was involved in an accident. One of these told his wife that he didn't want to do anything except to fly. And today he still is, which is remarkable. Pretty cool. Now, as, as we look at the other thing that, that's unique about this, each of those prop rotors is over 38 feet in diameter. Together, from tip to tip, wet width-wise, it's over 84 feet. And these are deployed on amphibious carriers. And aircraft carriers the bow right there. They're sure yeah, enough. Yeah, look at that. But, but that makes it really crowded. It takes up a lot. 
target. With the ability to maneuver. All is set and done. It's the Marines on the ground. That's right. Boots on the ground always solve the problem. Here they are. Now watch how fast they come out of the back end of these two Ospreys.